इस मॉड्यूल में हम मुराबा बेस्ड कार फाइनेंसिंग की बाबत गुफ्तु करेंगे कार फाइनेंसिंग इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ इस्लामिक बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस कैन बी बेस्ड ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ इस्लामिक मोड्स ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज मुराबा मुराबा बेस्ड कार फाइनेंसिंग इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन कंट्रीज लाइक द यू ए इन द मिडल ईस्ट एंड ऑफकोर्स इट इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन पाकिस्तान एज वेल अल दो देर आर सम अदर मोड्स ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग विच आर यूज फॉर कार फाइनेंसिंग इन पाकिस्तान एंड वी वुड लुक इन टू एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ दैम इन ड्यू कोर्स इसका प्रोसेस क्या होता है कार फाइनेंसिंग बेस्ड ऑन मुराबा इज लाइक होम फाइनेंसिंग बेस्ड ऑन मुराबा एंड यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन मुराबा बेस्ड होम फाइनेंसिंग स्ट्रक्चर एंड मुराबा बेस्ड कार फाइनेंसिंग स्ट्रक्चर सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द कस्टमर आइडेंटिफाइज अ कार टू परचेज फ्रॉम सम this could be a dealer this could be a person as well once uh, they have identified the vendor they have identified the seller then the customer goes to an islamic bank or a conventional bank offering islamic car financing bank accepts the application informs the customer customer does certain things i e it may the customer may be required to sign a purchase undertaking and so on so once that happens the bank buys the car from the vendor and sells it to the customer for a disclosed profit and of course the customer starts driving the car but at the same time the customer has to start paying to the bank as well uh, in the context of financing now again there is this car buy buyer or prospective car buyer uh, it wants to buy a car it finds someone who is selling or who is willing to sell the car this customer is looking for after negotiations and you know how these negotiations uh, take place the most important thing is that price is agreed and the delivery of the car is agreed as well okay so once this general agreement has taken place and there is turn for paying the money the customer says stop i need to talk to my bank okay so the customer approaches the bank and uh, seeks financing by way of filling in an application form and if the bank accepts that application i e if the bank is happy with the credit worthiness of the customer they would accept it and would inform the customer that we are willing to finance your car purchase when that happens the customer will have to sign a purchase undertaking this purchase undertaking is a risk management tool uh, the bank would like to ensure that once it has bought the car from the vendor the customer should be willing to buy that car why this purchase undertaking is required if there is no purchase undertaking in islamic law when a customer goes to a bank and applies for car financing or home financing or financing of any kind this is only an intention intention to go ahead which is not binding so if i go to an islamic bank apply for a loan apply for a financing not a loan because islamic banks do not offer loans they offer financing now i apply for financing 
the bank says all right okay we are happy with your credit worthiness which contract should we be using i say i am interested in your murabha based financing so the bank would buy whatever i would like to buy eventually would buy from the vendor and when the bank calls me that your item is ready to be sold by us i say that i have changed my mind there is nothing in islamic law which would obligate me to buy this item from the bank so because of this the banks actually require islamic banks require their murabha customers to sign a purchase undertaking this purchase undertaking is based on wad on a promise interestingly islami law mein aur islami qanoon mein wada bhi binding nahi hai in general agar koi wada karke wada pura na kare to us pe guna to hoga lekin court court kuch nahi kar sakti except in certain circumstances especially the commercial ones so in this context this is a commercial dealing and this purchase undertaking based on wad is binding on the customer if the customer wants to change their mind the bank would not let them do so because they have already signed on a purchase undertaking which is binding now once that has happened the bank would buy the car from the vendor and would sell it on to the customer on a murabha basis with the provision of customer paying the price in easy monthly installment so this is the process of murabha based car financing i would like to end this segment with a very interesting incident someone bought a car on a murabha basis financed by an islamic bank in the ua teen char mahine guzre honge ke car ka accident ho gaya the uae police got involved and they found out actually the car was a stolen one yani ke jisse bank ne gaadi leke is customer ko bechi thi usne chori ki hui thi and of course uae police is very efficient they took the car and gave it to the rightful owner ab jisne bank se financing leke ye car khareedi hui thi he went to the bank and said because this was a stolen car you should give my money back the bank didn't want to initially return the money but the sharia board of the bank asked the bank to pay the money to the customer because the bank in this case failed to do due diligence on the vendor this is one of the differences between an islamic car financing and a conventional car financing in which case the consequences could have been completely different because in case of conventional financing the customer buys the car by himself anyway the bank is involved only to provide the car loan